there is a 3.5% chance that your motorcycle is going to be stolen this year. Hello Sprocketeers and welcome back to another episode of Safi Sprocket. I'm your host, Safi Sprocket, and today we're going to be talking about motorcycle security. Did you know that in England and Wales alone, every single year, 40,000 motorcycles get stolen? In fact, in London alone, 1,500 motorcycles get stolen every single month. That nearly works out at 50 a day. And unfortunately, motorcycles are really easy to steal. And with the resale value of parts, that means bike thieves can make full-time careers out of your misery. However, here's my top 11 bike tips for helping to prevent theft. So let's jump in. So tip number one. Set fire to all the bike thieves. Damn it, Steve. You can't go around and set fire to people, okay? Oh, right. People on the internet are starting to talk. What do you mean that people are talking? They said I was childish. Set fire to the critics. God damn it, give that lighter to me. Never liked your channel anyway. So tip number one, in sight, out of mind. Are you off for a day trip? Do you want to stop at a coffee shop? Make sure you park your motorcycle in a clear line of sight. Whether it's directly outside of a window or even inside your motorcycle tent, yes, you heard me folks, keeping your bike physically in your line of sight is one of your best lines of defence. Tip number two, CCTV. Most bike owners tend to own a garage, and if this is the case, it's worth considering installing CCTV on all entrances and exits. Cameras are usually the first thing that a thief will look for, so make sure that you have multiple angles and multiple cameras to act as a deterrent and keep your precious bike safe. Tip number three, lighting. Now, a large percentage of bikers don't actually have garages, which probably means on-street parking. Now, if this is the case for you, try to find a spot that has good lighting. Darkness is a thief's best friend. It conceals their identity and makes it less likely to raise any alarm. A thief will be more likely to go for a motorbike in a dimly lit area to avoid raising suspicions, rather than a bike that's in a permanent spotlight. Tip number four, use a disc lock. A disc lock helps to prevent motorcycle theft by immobilizing your bike by locking up at the wheel. It's considered one of the more effective methods when it comes to bike security. Now the benefits of this is that a disc lock is extremely portable and easy to carry around, making it a great solution for when you head to places like a supermarket. Number five, use a screamer alarm. Now a screamer alarm is effectively a motorcycle disc lock with the added bonus of a very loud alarm in the event of an attempted tampering. Now I'm personally not a huge fan of screamers because in my experience, when you wake up at 3 a.m. because the rain is setting off your bike, you're not very happy about it the next morning. However, this doesn't mean that they're a redundant motorcycle theft security tool. It just means that you should choose when you use these, preferably inside a garage where the wind or rain can't set them off. Tip number six, use a bike chain lock. Now using a motorcycle chain lock is another good solution to prevent your motorcycle from being stolen, especially if you attach your bike to another immovable object like a lamppost or even a ground anchor. Now using a motorcycle chain lock isn't foolproof and bike thieves can cut through it. However, it does help to slow them down and does act as a deterrent, especially if your bike's parked amongst a pack of other bikes. Hey everyone, while I have your attention, don't forget to hit subscribe. Remember every single subscriber helps support the channel, which in turn helps to support Saffron's ever-growing caffeine addiction. More caffeine equals more content, so get it done. Which leads me on to tip number seven. Park your bike near other bikes. Even if your bike is the nicest bike amongst an entire bunch, a thief is always going to go for the easiest targets. So simply by parking near other bikers, it helps to decrease the odds that your bike is gonna get stolen. Another added bonus is that if you are out riding with your friends, it's worth parking your bikes extremely close together. This reduces the amount of space that a thief has to operate in. And this leads us on to tip number eight, discretion. Now, if you own a really expensive motorcycle or a new release bike, the chances are you're going to draw a lot of attention. And this includes bike thieves. Owning an expensive vehicle is a status symbol. So if you do own an expensive bike, try to be discreet about it. Assume that every single one of your neighbors is a suspect. If anyone asks, simply tell them you own an eight year old dust roller. Which leads us on to tip number nine, put your bike under a cover. Thieves often shop for a particular bike model, and this is because the resale value of those parts can be extremely high. Using a cover instantly makes your bike less attractive to theft. In addition to this, the cover also provides another time-consuming obstacle for a thief. A thief looking under a motorcycle cover is going to draw a lot more attention than someone simply admiring your bike from far away. Tip number 10, trackers. 
Now, whilst a tracker won't necessarily prevent your motorcycle from being stolen, it does give you a good chance of getting your machine back. Some motorcycle tracking companies have even reported a recovery rate of up to 90%. This is extremely impressive and it's certainly worth considering installing a tracker on your bike. And finally, leading on to our last tip. Tip number 11, don't buy secondhand parts. This is the number one theft prevention tip I can give to bikers. Avoid auction sites and online marketplaces. Professional bike thieves rely on being able to flip bikes and flip bike parts. If they're unable to flip them, they'll focus on an industry that's more profitable. Help kill motorcycle theft at the source by only buying from people that you know directly or buying from reputable shops. If a motorbike thief is unable to sell an item, that item becomes worthless and isn't worth stealing anymore. The best way for us to help cut down on bike theft is not to engage with the people who are doing it. In conclusion, the reality of the situation is that if a thief really wants to steal your bike, nothing is really going to stop him. However, using some of the tips and suggestions that I've recommended in this video today will help to minimize the risk of it occurring. Now, if you want to see more great bike content, don't forget to hit subscribe. In the meantime, my name's Safi Sprocket. Ride safe, stay crazy, and I'll see you next week.